Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool density bottles. Here's what you'll need to make one of these bottles. Iodine-free salt, a jug of distilled water, 91% isopropyl alcohol, a bag of pony beads, a bag of perler beads, and an empty plastic bottle. We'll start by mixing the fluids. You want to fill that plastic bottle with approximately 40% of distilled water. Next, we're going to add the isopropyl alcohol. The key here is not to fill the bottle all the way to the top. We need to leave room for the rest of the ingredients. It's now time to add the pony beads. You want to add enough beads to form two or three layers inside the fluid. You'll notice that the pony beads will sink to the bottom of the bottle. That's okay. It's now time to add the perler beads. In my case, you'll notice that these small perler beads don't sink all the way to the bottom of the bottle. Instead, they stop at the midpoint of the bottle, where the isopropyl alcohol meets the distilled water. It's now time to add the secret ingredients to make the magic happen. What you want to do is you want to measure out approximately six tablespoons of salt. I'm going to start by adding approximately half that salt to the bottle. You'll notice now that the perler beads will float to the top and that's okay. Time to close up the bottle and give it a good shake. The goal here is to dissolve all the salt that's sitting at the bottom. Once you let it settle, you'll notice that the perler beads float to the top and our pony beads are still resting at the bottom. It's now time to add the remainder of the salt to the bottle. Again, put the salt in, close it up, and give it a good shake. You'll notice that the perler beads float to the top, the pony beads sink to the bottom again. However, unlike before, you'll notice that the beads start to move. The perler beads and the pony beads will start their journey and meet again at the center of the bottle. Pretty cool.